Hey, what's going on gamers? Welcome back to Gamer Guy channel. I am Rollin in Robocraft. And uh, this video I'm going to be doing something a little different. This is just going to be me talking about Robocraft and showing off some of my builds and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a build or you're looking for uh, some gameplay and stuff like that, that probably won't be happening in this particular video for Robocraft. Um, there's been some changes announced by uh, FreeJam and the development team that uh, could possibly change Robocraft in the future and uh, is going to be using something that will give people who are not as experienced with uh, Robocraft uh, the ability to be more competitive essentially is what they're wanting to do uh, but it also takes away some of the challenge and skill in the existing game and stuff and uh, uh, not something that I think much of the community and myself are super um, enthused about because it does change up the game so much where things uh, like the videos I've made in the past with all the builds and stuff um, and, you know, what people know uh, now will be completely changed enough where it won't be relevant anymore. So, um, anyway, a little bit about uh, my robots here, too, that I'll be showing off. Uh, some of these are just art bots and for fun. Uh, like this guy, Braun, I built the other day with the Halloween cubes and some of the carbon blacks uh, in combination. This is just kind of more for fun. You know, I just wanted to build something that looked cool. Um, I took it out in a couple matches, and it does okay. Um, it's not a great robot, but it, you know, can fly around and shoot back for a little while. It is a little top-heavy, though, I found, so if you jump off cliffs, a lot of times it will end up upside down. It probably would never be something I'd put a build video on. Out on. But, uh, you know, in this game, if we had something where you could just share art bots with other people, or uh, people could give you ratings or RP based on art, which there kind of already is. It's called the shop. You know, people buy art bots a lot of time. Uh, but they also rate them on, you know, how practical they are. But if you could do other kinds of competitions or uh, have something that, you, you know, you have a hovercraft car show or something and you can just, you know, compete on that and somebody wins a prize, uh, that would be fun. And it gives people that, you know, uh, have a lot of talent and a lot of them are, I think, more artistically talented than myself even, um, would give them some recognition too, which would be good. There's some really great bots on the uh, RoboShop. And one of the videos I want to do in the future is just kind of like, uh, checking out some of these really popular ones. In fact, one that I wanted to do is check out this Bushido. Um, I like this robot enough where I was like, hey, I like some of the style choices this guy made. Um, so, And this one actually looks like it's probably a performer too. But this is a good, com uh, good example of how style uh, can meet some of the popular mechanics and still work out and be you know, interesting. And this thing has 102 rentals. Um, so I think it's been <clears throat> pretty successful for a Robocraft build. Um, so anyway, and I, I just, uh, I don't feel like, you know, the game has to change. I think instead of changing the game completely, they can just add some new modes to Robocraft. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, um, you might go to Twitter and see if you can find uh, Mark Simmons' post, and he has links to his articles on some of the proposed changes. But... Um, so they're going to make it where functional components aren't shot off um, as easily or not as all until all the blocks are gone and then your bot is um, basically made unfunctional all at the same time at the end of it. Which I think really wouldn't be as fun and compelling as um, the current Robocraft where people who really know how to build um, <clears throat> you know, have the, the choice to build really um, optimal robots. you know. So, And if you want to go that route, you can, but I personally think it is a little less creative than just doing something like this, you know, that kind of combines both of them. <clears throat> you guys have to excuse me, I'm losing my voice. In fact, let me get a drink real quick. All right, I'm back. So anyhow, um, you know, I think that's basically the choice between style and design and functionality and stuff. Those are just personal decisions people can make. And if you want to recognize people for being stylist, stylish or you enjoy personally having robots you deem as more creative, um, you know, good good for you and you can find ways of recognizing that within the current game without having to ruin things that people already like about the existing game. You know, because I do like uh, Team Deathmatch a lot as the kind of the original Robocraft model. Um, Battle Arena, I do play a lot. Um, you know, and at first I didn't like it as much, but I think they've worked out enough of the little bugs and stuff where it's become pretty good. Um, that's another thing, though, speaking of bugs. I mean, there is lots of bugs still in Robocraft. And more and more are kind of introduced with each patch, I've noticed. Like, now we have a bug where every time someone uh, writes something, even if I don't have chat up, I still have to hear the little beep and stuff. And we have one, like, with the um, Tesla blades before a match now. They show as open, um, 
you know, so they don't work with the graphic uh, opening anymore correctly. So, I mean, just little little te- little things here and there that I just notice, um, you know, they need a little more polish and uh, just need to be kind of tuned up a, oh, and whatnot. So, I think if they continued with the current model and just added more feature richness, adding more their variations of uh, guns, perhaps, or uh, movement parts like they did with the mech legs, that was, I think, a successful launch on that, and a lot of people really enjoy having mech legs. Um, you know, but if they could do more of that sort of thing and just on a more regular basis, I think that would do wonders for the game. And then offering modes that maybe don't have anything to do with creative, like Bark had said something about um, adding in a race mode. Certainly, uh, that'd be cool. I think uh, having a race mode in the game would be fun. A lot of people would be open for that, and it might attract uh, more people to Robocrafts, but you'll still have a best robot, you know, and there's still going to be an optimal design. And I don't think nerfing that in the way of just having creative monkeys or, you know, whatever you want to make, whales and flying sandwiches and stuff like that in the game. Uh, I don't know. That's not as appealing to me. I think there's a place for that, and I'm not bashing on creative builders. Um, but if you want to play in a competitive arena, there needs to be a winner and a loser. And giving out everybody, you know, little participation prizes, I think, sucks. You know, I want to I want to have a gun bed that has 50 guns. And, <laughs> you know, if that ends up being the best... Uh, build then that's the best build but not everybody chooses that you know to be the best build and there'll be strategies around it and we'll still have weaknesses too you know so um yeah so it's min maxing in a way but um you know you don't have to choose to min max you can try different creative innovative things um you know here's an electric plated flyer i haven't shown you guys yet this isn't the prettiest build but it is something built for functionality and uh, uses that S-Wing design I used earlier in my Taurus and in the Doom Cloud, but using electric plates instead of blocks. Uh, just six guns, though. You know, I'm not um, using redundancy there because I built this specifically for a battle arena mode where you can get back to the shield, and I made this in a way that uh, it still keeps enough functional components to get back to base to heal up. So I'm, you know, constantly going back and forth. This is a different strategy offered by that particular game mode. If there's more game modes, you know, there's capture the flag mode or there's things that require specific mechanics, then there'll be more variety of bots and you'll have, um, you know, things that can be artistic in different ways. They don't necessarily have to look like a sea monkey uh, to be artistic or, you know, look like Darth Vader's mask or Abe Lincoln or anything else. Um, to be considered creative, in my opinion. I think people can build functional components and be creative, too. Here's something I built um, from the Halloween offerings. I added a couple extra wings onto what was kind of an internal healer. And I thought that those curved arrow rods looked a lot like uh, ribs, so I kind of went with that. And the top and bottom plates on the um, Electromancer are really just to prevent plasma blast damage, and they don't really connect anywhere except for the sides on the robot, so you can take full you know, blast of plasma without uh, totally depleting your electroplates, and you still have those for SMGs. Works pretty good, but yes, it does get de-wing, uh, de-winged pretty easily. You know, if wings were as, t- as tough as uh, mech legs, that would be interesting, but I think it would also be kind of a nightmare, because flyers as they are are um, already kind of a problem with good, you know, experienced players learning how to use the landscape to their advantage. Um, you can have a real nightmare with somebody who really knows, has a good plane, yes, one. This is probably just what I consider, a, a, I think, a good plane, but not a great plane, uh, because it does have external wings. It also has internal wings to help you get back to base, and it has um, thrusters uh, that are inside, too. So you have a lot of functional components inside the blocks, and... Um, you know, so you don't necessarily have to change the entire game. People just change the way they build, basically, to make blocks more of an armor thing, along with electroplates. Then having that be the thing that everything relies on, have all your functional components on the outside. So that's kind of what I've been looking at here. This is a combination of both having external parts that are functional and internal parts that are functional. So you'll see my rudder, tail fin, a little bit of helium, thrusters, all that kind of important stuff's so on the inside of the core of the robot. And then I also have a couple wings up front that are... Um, in that S-wing formation, so you have still like three, four wings, even uh, with three wings, when you have everything else blown off and some thrusters and stuff that will help you get back to base. So, anyway, you know, but that's I think another example of something that can be considered creative and functional, and uh, you know, without having to dump the game down. I don't really want to see that happen. 
Anyway, let's continue on here as I uh, talk more about some of the changes. Um, so a lot of the reviews on the forums I've, so, I've seen so far have been kind of negative or kind of mirroring what I'm saying. They're not really super excited about seeing the core mechanics change because we've myself and many other people on YouTube or people who do art billets and have used RoboCraft Garage have put a lot of time into our robots and um, we have the social media presence and we'd like to kind of have it be continued to be appreciated by people. Um, you know, beyond one year. I guess that's how long the game's must been a little bit longer than a year now, but uh, as long as I've been in the game is about a year. And I've been, I, know, I think I have over 100 videos now on the channel here and stuff, and some of those are build videos, a good, good percentage of them, and I know people still enjoy playing them, so it just seems kind of counterintuitive to totally change up a game where you have all this um, social media and content from the community supporting you. And then to say, no, we're not really going to go that direction anymore. We're going to totally change up what RoboCraft is and all that stuff that's out there currently. Um, are, it's just not going to be relevant anymore. You know, it'll just be this dead game that uh, doesn't exist anymore because we decided one day that we weren't making enough money uh, and that, you know, retaining people longer is more important than retaining our base currently. So, and I think that's a kind of a false dichotomy. You don't have to alienate your player base to um, gain more su subscribers and make a better game. Uh, one way to do it is just to add more elements that people from your community want in a game. And uh, one of those things that I hear a lot of people say is, hey, why don't you have more of a social function? Um, you know, if I want to go into a bay and I want to build a robot with the Awesome Soul or um, Rosefall or Gamer Fox or Laughland or Arvac or whoever I run into, and uh, we end up being friends or whatever, you know, I would like the ability to go in and maybe collaborate with them on something together where we can also both add parts, you know, or we can build something that's 5,000 CPU and compete in a different kind of league, uh, like a multiplayer league. You know, just be more creative with what are already is offered by the existing mechanics, offer different game modes. Um, you know, so maybe that means a little bit more work as far as uh, programming and stuff like that. But if you're, you know, able to get a loan or whatever to make that happen, to fund that, I think it's definitely a better direction to go than revamping the game completely in hopes that the new um, RoboCraft, the new, new, new RoboCraft, because we've already done the new RoboCraft a couple times, it feels like, uh, is the gold mine that you've been waiting for and the Tetris that's just going to bring in troves of people and keep them forever. You know, this is kind of a niche game. And uh, if you want to expand, we'll just add a couple new niches into the existing games that might keep people longer who like racing instead of fighting, you know. So that's kind of what I think about uh, what's going on. Um, I'm certainly... You know, when RoboCraft, if it does change, which it probably will, because I found that uh, the, dis the developers at RoboCraft are pretty um, staunch on staying with a certain path once they've decided as a collector to stay. I haven't really seen them listen to community feedback until it's eating at their wallets and saying, you know, I don't want to play this anymore. Bye. You know, we're not sticking around or we're leaving. Then people start making dis uh, changes in their decision making. So I think at that point we will um, we will probably see a revert you know if everybody revolts from robocraft and they all leave and no one's news coming well yeah they're going to go back to what robocraft was before but i really feel like there's so many unnecessary growing pains um, with robocraft and things that just seem kind of blatantly obvious you know you don't alienate player base you want to try to build upon what you currently have and make it better instead of reworking everything um you know unless you're forced to for some reason, but I don't really feel like we're at a point where they're forced to. I think we're at a point now where it just is going to take a little bit more, um, a little more elbow grease and a little bit more cranking out some things that people are going to be excited about it with the existing mechanics instead of rewriting the entire code. So, you know, I'm somebody who's a business student. I have a couple degrees actually, um, in one in marketing and one in entrepreneurship. And, um, so I just I see some of the decisions and it just kind of makes me cringe on a business side and not so much from the creative standpoint. I mean, the new RoboCraft, if it uses wire meshes and your functional components don't fall off and everybody's happy with it and it's wonderful, well, then I'll probably be on board too, you know, but I just can't really get excited about, uh, behind it being presented the way it is where it's just going to be a total revamp on what RoboCraft is. So, 
you know, currently bots like this, these are rented, this is rented uh, at least a couple of times in the shop, and I enjoy playing it, um, but it is something that's more of a performance bot. I built it to be lightweight intentionally and be fast, and I fast is what I was going for here, not gun redundancy. So that's another way to win is, you know, can I get to the towers uh, in Classic before the other guy and shoot out the towers and then get back to the shield or get to safety before they can get me? You know, this had nothing to do with I needed to have 20 guns on a... Uh, a tank track and you know if you don't like that uh 20 guns on a tank track that's kind of like your own opinion as far as that being a bad style choice versus this you know but this is definitely could be considered a little thruster stick uh, performance bot you know um and some people will choose to play this and some people are repulsed by something like this and they just want to build a flying monkey or they want to build a pokemon uh, variation and take that into battle, and you know more power to them. I think there maybe should be a league for people who just build art bots, and you know you can get it certified as an art bot somehow, or have you know enough uh, lower tier blocks where you can play against other players who register their bots as art bots. You know, so there's ways to filter choices out and make the game more exper uh, enjoyable for everyone without um, having to rip it apart, you know, and start anew. So. Anyway, that's kind of the point of this. Um, we're, at the time of this video, we're only on Mark's third, um, I guess, letter to the community about what he wants to do. And tomorrow there'll be a new one. And we'll go into some more details. And I guess he's also reviewing feedback with um, the Free Jam team. So we'll see if anything comes of that um, or if they continue on with their current path. I imagine they have man hours into programming as they've done. Um, so I'm testing on the wireframe mode. There was a video put out with uh, the way it's going to work or what they've been trying on. So there's certainly been man hours put into this new direction. And once someone has kind of started on a path and they've put their time and money into it, it's kind of hard to change them from, you know, going that direction just from people's initial reaction to it. So, you know, I, my hit is that they are going to continue with uh, the changes that will kind of totally redo Robocraft. Um, I just really feel it's going to be a mistake. You know, and I think if they want to make another game that uses a wire mesh and is more set for what they consider like a novice builder, um, then just build a new, make a new game. You know, it's okay to have more than one title, um, or maybe make a switch. You know, where you can choose to be on the regular build mode, or you can choose to play with the new wire mesh. You know, novice mode or whatever you want to call it, and have that just as an option. You can choose one or the other. And have people, you know, be able to have that as a choice instead of something that's thrust upon them and they can't go back to the Robocraft they they enjoy uh, from yesteryear. You know, kind of like they did with this uh, drive mode thing. We still have Team Deathmatch that was kind of the classic and staple, and I really enjoy playing Deathmatch a lot because it's such a quick game. Um, you can get in a couple five-minute games versus one 20- or 30-minute game and where midway through you just get frustrated and you want to quit because your team, you know, isn't pulling it out and you're just getting hammered on. So there's certainly, like, a frustration that comes, I think, with the Battle Arena in a way, but it also offers for different build mechanics and offer different strategies. So, you know, it can be fun, too. It's not all, it's not all bad. Uh, by any means. So anyway, um, yeah, so these are some of my robots. You know, this I have a lot of bays more than I have robots right now. And at one time, these were all filled with different robots, but they had redone Robocraft once before, and I ended up selling off a lot of those robots that are on my builds now from earlier time, and they're actually viable again, like the Electromantis series. But uh, for a while there, they weren't viable at all, and I had erased them all, um, you know, basically because... I was never going to use a robot that I couldn't even go into a game and play with, essentially, is what happened, because they had functional components from another tier. And, you know, I think they have very uh, <laughs> quickly realized that that was a mistake, and they went the opposite direction, where now creative is their uh, number one decision. But, again, they're kind of making the same mistake, and it's their idea of what creativity should be and that everybody needs to be creative now, which is taking everybody in a direction they may not choose to go in. If people want to play competitively, too, let them play competitively. You don't have to be the arbiter of what is good and bad uh, in Robocraft, the decisions in Robocraft. Let people choose for themselves and just offer those choices in different modes. You know, add more to the game 
add more components, maybe have more than SMGs and plasma, sniper rifles, and heal uh, guns. You know, let's add some more variety and different functional components and different ways people can work together. And add more social elements to RoboCraft. You know, if I want to hang out with people uh, and build teams, and we have competitive teams where I can choose who my opponents are, as well as choosing who's on my own team, um, and, you know, build things with them and stuff, I think that would be a major improvement, you know. Something that hasn't been explored, I think, fully yet. Or, you know, I've heard other people say, it's not just me, obviously, and a couple other YouTubers, there's a lot of uh, forums out there that people um, have the same thoughts and feelings about RoboCraft. So, and, um, so anyway, that's been it, guys. I don't want to make this video too long. It's just a little rant on what I think so far about some of the changes proposed in RoboCraft. Um, what that means for me as far as RoboCraft, um, I'm going to wait and see. I'm not uh, certainly ruling out anything. Uh, you know, I, I am going to probably be playing some other games and bringing those to the channel. I've been playing Faster Than Light. It's like a $10 game on Steam. Um, I enjoy it. It's a strategy game. It's a little bit different than a build game. So I'll probably be bringing that over to the channel as I've just uh, been kind of uh, captivated by it and I needed a break after reading some of the changes proposed. I want to see what happens before I start putting out a lot of time and uh, energy into building things like this uh, that will be completely useless in a month's time or whenever they decide to make this release. So um, so a little bit of a holding pattern. I'll be doing some playthroughs. We'll be doing some tests and stuff like that. Um, but in the very near future, this uh, and other robots could just be another archive of history if the uh, Free Jam developers decide that, hey, we do want to make this change and uh, we feel like that's going to be the best for our bottom line. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But anyway, guys, uh, I am Roland again. Uh, you can check out my builds on the RoboCraft uh, RCF or CRF or whatever it is, Community Robot Factory, uh, under the name Roland, which is W R. <clears throat> A-U-L-I-N Excuse me again, I'm kind of losing my voice again But here's some of the uh, the bots I put up So if you're interested in any of the things I just kind of cycle through the garage You can definitely rent them or you can build them yourself in a lot of the cases But a couple of these are um, going to be shop only Like the Electromantis EP27 has been renting pretty well uh, Looks like I have a couple uh, earnings here too Nice, so I guess I'll pick those up So thank you guys for uh, supporting me that does kind of give me uh, more RP to build other cool things for you. Uh, when you buy my robots in the shop, I appreciate that. So a couple couple hits there. 34 sales, not too shabby. Um, and I also have other accounts too. I'm also Gamer Guide. So if you see Gamer Guide, uh, all one word, on RoboCraft on the shop, that's also my design. So I have a couple of accounts. I know I'm like a crazy RoboCraft fan. But uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to see the game change. So anyway, guys. Um... That's been all. I hope you enjoyed this little rant. And if you have similar thoughts and feelings, feel free to leave that down in the comment section below. I'd like to see what you guys think about the game and uh, what your feedback is or what you think is going to be happening with RoboCraft. I'm just kind of curious to hear from you guys in general. Um, there might be a collaborative video with other RoboCrafters. Um, I've heard some rumor about uh, maybe us getting together on Sunday and uh, talking about it. But if you're open to that idea and you're watching my channel and you're maybe from another channel yourself... Uh, I'm definitely open to that. I think a kind of a community talk um, forum on uh, RoboCraft or a podcast on RoboCraft could be kind of a fun thing to do. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, until next time, be well, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.